Okay, I think we're recording. Wait, I gotta double check. Okay. <laughs> am I brave or what? Here I am, no makeup on, with my hair back. So, you know, here's the deal, girls. I'm having to cover my gray. I mean, it's just a lot of work to be 50. I'm just saying. So I thought I'd do something fun. Um, drink my coffee in front of you. Okay, look at my coffee. Can you see? It's all frothed up with cinnamon and nutmeg on top. It's awesome. Okay, we're going to put our makeup on together today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick video with just eyes and then a video with everything else. Okay. All right. So I've already uh, done my skincare. I have already done all that. And um, I've already done my primer. And I don't know if you're like me, but I have allergies right now, so I may be doing this a few times because it's that fun time of year. But I just wanted to show you, it's really fast and fun to do makeup. Like, okay, this is my, my own palette, well used, a little dirty. I'm just, you know, being real here today. I love putting on eyeshadow because it's really fun. But here's the thing. Every eye shape is different. Some people have hooded eyes. You don't see your lid, you know, so everybody has a little bit of different eye shape to work with. Some people have big eyes like I do. Some people have smaller lids to work with. But um, I love to put on eyeshadow because I just think it's fun. So one of the things I'm doing now that I'm a little older, I used to love, oh, I could rock some shimmer, 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 right? But I had to tone that down as I've gotten older. So I usually, I still wear shimmer because it just makes me happy. And I usually have glitter nails on and all that. See, glitter nails. I mean, I'm not going to out and grow it. Clearly I'm 50. <laughs> okay. But what I want to do is show you, like, I love biscotti. Oh, they're right there. That is a good color. And so now what I do is I put it here. I don't do a frost under my brow anymore because I got to pick my point and I can't be getting all getting too busy, right? Okay. So if this goes on good, I'm going to feel really happy about myself. I don't have my contacts on. <laughs> um, I can see myself pretty good in this camera, but you know, not perfectly. Okay. So I like to put a little shimmer on the lid. So I'm going to put on um, Sunlit Rose, which is a really, uh, let me see, that color. It's well used because I love it. So I'm going to put that all over the lid and you know, it's hard to get the perfect lighting. My lighting's pretty bright, so it's really forgiving. But anyway, if it were, let me see, see, it's harder. Well, maybe it's better to see that way. We'll try it this way for a minute and then we'll, okay. So just a good coat of the sunlit rose. I'm using our Mary Kay brushes. Of course, this is the all over brush. So just a good, nice coat of that. I don't know if that's better or worse. That might be worse. We'll see. Okay, anyway, so we're getting this business on. I like a lot of the highlighter, clearly. I do have primer on underneath. We have a great primer for $12. Probably know that. Do I have a bit? I don't have one right here handy, sorry. Okay, eye primer is essential, I think, especially in our um, summers with the heat and humidity. Primer is essential. It keeps your eyeshadow from creasing, and it also keeps it from fading. Um, sometimes a lot of people are like, why do you have such a dramatic look to your eyeshadow? Well, primer gives you that because it holds the color better. Okay, so my favorite mid-tone in the whole world is hazelnut. So I just have something here and all over the bottom, nothing anywhere else. So the mid-tone is actually just that middle space between. So I'm going to put that there, and I like to kind of dust it up there. So basically the entire eyelid is covered with shadow now. Do y'all see that? Okay, we'll do this other side. Okay, it is a little different putting it on with the camera. This is not my norm. Okay, I think once I have it all in, we can see it a little more dramatically. Let's see. See, I think I'll have to. Uh, anyway, okay, now I am going to use our smudgy brush because I just happen to like a brush like this to put the crease on. And so I've done a lot of different ways over the years, but as I'm getting older, we all get more of a hooded eyes. We get older, meaning the skin comes down, right? So you can kind of see how the skin's doing that there on me. It happens to everybody. It's one of those fun things that happens, like needing coffee to get your brain clear in the morning <laughs> oh, or just getting some energy, right? Mm. Okay. 
So what I've been doing, I used to do like, you know, something like a C and I still sometimes do that where you have a C in that outer corner. But what I've been doing lately just to let my lid look bigger is not put any eyeshadow on the bottom. And just to, oh, I hope this goes well. It's, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, this is what I, <laughs> I am a professional, I think. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to get this baby smoothed out. Okay, we're getting better now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that was hilarious. Okay, so um, I used to wear a lot of dark colors too as I was older and I'm wearing lighter colors now. This may not look now, lot <laughs> now after I had my little faux pas of getting it on. Oh my word. I might have to look at something a little closer up people because I can't see good um, in that lighting. Okay, it's not as disastrous as I thought. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay. See, this is why people like me should do videos because we're not perfect. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I'm using Merlot. It looks like I got this big club right there, but it's the lighting. It's not that bad. I also would use, um, when I use Sunlit Rose, which is a pinky, I like to use um, mahogany. That's really pretty. And if it's more evening, I can do like espresso or hot fudge. Um, but I'm using Merlot, so that's a deep kind of burgundy shade. It's actually really pretty, and I like it because it makes my eyes look more green, right? So one thing um, right now while we're kind of in this place of being home more, which is good, right? It's not bad. We can roll with it. I mean, there are worse things in the world going on than us having to stay home. But if you want some samples or you want some like, hey, I want my eyes to look blue or whatever, or what is good for my eye shape, I can always um, get you that info and samples or whatever and let you try. Okay. All right. <laughs> After that little scary start to our eyeshadow. Uh, a little more. I got to have a little more color, people. A little more. I'm going to have to go to the crease brush because I'm having troubles today. Okay. There we go. So anyway, the nice thing is you just can kind of, the thing about brushes, like I know you can use sponge tips and some, I used to love sponge tips and I was like a brush, no way. Oh my gosh, no. But I think really now that I use brushes, it's so much easier. And it does look kind of, let me see, in the light, see it's more smooth, but in the dark, it looks a little more harsh, but it's almost easier to see the colors while we're in the dark over here. I'm scared to use wet brush today with myself. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to try it here and see if I can do it. Oh, okay. I'm doing better today on this side. Okay, here we go. I was going to show y'all how fast and easy this is, but now I've had to like cover over my mistakes. It's not that fast and easy, apparently. But main thing is, is just do a lot of smudging. Um, that would be Midnight in the back who just made her appearance on the table behind me. Um, yeah, so the main thing is don't, don't be afraid to just smudge and use your fingertips and kind of smooth it all in. Okay, so the next thing I would do, I'm going to have to lean in for this, is do liquid eyeliner. This is the new black. I know a lot of people can be scared of liquid eyeliner. I love it. Look at the point of that. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to use. It may not look easy me doing it this way because it is not a mirror. Oh, y'all, I might have to bring this mirror over for just a second, but y'all can still see me do it. Okay, so I'm really fast if I just do it my normal way. I go all the way to the end, and here's the thing. Eye shape matters. I have big eyes. So, but you usually would want to start right here in your, where your lashes begin because you want your eyeliner to emphasize your lash line, okay? Y'all can be entertained with my cat if you don't want to watch me put eyeliner on, whatever she is, he, excuse me, is doing behind me. Okay, so you can get a really thin, thin point with this. Now, I used to love to do a, um, a cat eye, but it's a little too bumpy over there now, people. It's a little bit too crinkly, so I can't be doing that cat eye anymore, but I do like to have a little bit of a lift in the outer corner, just, you know, right? A little lift up. Okay, so that's the liquid black. See how thin you can get it? It's a really, and this is a new one because it's waterproof, which I love. And how, so it's like this. So to get more, you just put the lid back on and then go again. So here I go again. 
here I go again, and I'm sorry, I got to do this over here where it's closer because I don't have my contacts on. I really am giving y'all the real deal today. And there's the cat. <laughs> there's no tell what the cat's doing right there. Hi, Midnight. Okay, the whole point of this video is to show you how fast I do my makeup, but you know, when you're talking, it's not quite so fast. Oh, okay. Eyeliner, see, fast and easy. Okay, now, oh, I gotta let that dry. I normally, oh, well, okay, here's what I do I do eyes first. Eyes are first because when you have trickle down, you can clean it up. If you do your base and then you do your eyes, then you have all this eyeshadow on your, you know, face and it's already done. The next thing I'm going to do is my mascara and then I'm going to shut the video off and we will go to just doing the face now. Okay. And this will take a minute because this is curly my eyelashes. Okay. So I'm going to tell you all the real deal. The real deal is this. I got to clean my eyelash curler. It looks a little scary. The real deal is, is when I wear my glasses, I don't curl my eyelashes. That's my lazy thing I've been doing. Um, but when you curl your eyelashes, it does really make a difference. Like um, we work with a makeup artist and, and he said, curling your eyelashes is like a facelift. I mean, that's what it does because it opens up your eyes, it opens it up. So you, some of you girls are so blessed where you already have eyelashes that curl. So shout the victory. Because my whole life, I'd be like this. I'd jump in the swimming pool. I'd be like this, right? Okay, so I'd <laughs> be glad if your eyelashes already curl. But if they don't, get a good eyelash curler. I use actually Shamira. These are really good eyelash curlers. You can get them on, I think there's a website for it, whatever. Okay, we've had them here and there. We don't have them right now. So, okay. Y'all, I may have to, again, I don't have my contacts on. Okay, you get right on the lash line like this. And then what you want to do is you want to curl, right? And then you want to come out a little bit and curl and come out a little bit and curl. Okay, why are we doing this? If you just curl at the base, the side of your eyelashes, it looks like a crimp, right? Straight out. But if you curl and walk it out, it looks more like a natural curl, okay? So I uh, apologize as I have to come back over here for this. Okay, so another tip is if you are using Okay, let me make sure I'm getting those little babies going. Okay, also if you, as you age, y'all may have noticed this already, is that you may, I'm just walking out a little bit, you may notice your lashes are thinner and that's totally normal. I always try to be prepared and have everything so I do in office because I just run to my shelf, yay, grab what I need. Okay, if you are noticing that your brows or your lashes are thinner, we have a product called the Lash and Brow Serum. And what it looks like, you use it at night. Now, your lashes have cycles, and so it looks like this. So it's kind of like a liquid eyeliner almost. You would wash your face and not put it on. And then it takes about four to six weeks to really see it. What I noticed, it was thicker first before I saw length, but your lashes have cycles. So it does take a minute, but it's a great product, and you can also use it on your brows. Okay, here we go now. Now, if you open your mouth with your doing, when you're doing anything with your, um, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. If you open your mouth when you do anything with your eyes, y'all know that is totally normal because it relaxes your eye muscles. There's a reason you open your mouth when you're doing your eyeliner or whatever. Okay, so because my, um, oh, where's my, sorry, I'm so prepared. I really thought I was prepared. <laughs> Okay, so when I do the eyelash curler, you know what happens is um, it usually takes a little of my eyeliner off, so I go back with the mechanical just to kind of hit the places it hit, it took off. Mm. Oh, I tell you, I'd be hard pressed to give up a little coffee every morning. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go back over. I like the liquid, the eyeliner, but sometimes the lash curler does kind of pull it off a little bit for me. May not do that for you. Everybody's a little different. Okay. Now we're going to do a little lash primer. So I prime everything. We have a lip primer, lash primer, eye primer, foundation primer. So a primer is going to enhance anything you put on top of it. So like, for instance, I'll talk about foundation primer in a minute, but like eye primer, I already talked about that. So lash primer, it, I love lash primer. I just put a little bit on like that. You can't even really see it, it's clear. 
And then that way, when I go to put on my mascara, it really has something to grab and hang on to because I want to try to have as long lashes as possible. Okay, so here we go. What I like to do, first of all, because I curl my eyelashes, I use the waterproof. So this is the tip I've learned. If you curl your eyelashes and use waterproof, it will hold the curl longer. And you girls that curl your lashes know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's the journey we're all on, right? Keep our eyelashes staying looking curled all day. Okay, so what I like to do is just really tip in the ends. So I went, um, I went this way first. As y'all saw, now I'm trying to just get a little bit of that. Okay. So we're already looking better because we got a little mascara going. I mean, I'm almost like, if I could just have a little something on my eyes, I could look alive. Okay. So the next thing I would do is come through with the ultimate and pop again. And here's what I've learned when you use two different mascaras, they adhere differently and it just holds that curl better. So the, I come back through with the lash, um, excuse me, the, um, the ultimate mascara and it is a volumizing mascara. So once this dries, then I'll come through and I'll do the ultimate on the bottom. I just really want the waterproof to hold my curl, but I don't want a lot of it because it's harder to get off. Now on the, um, let's see, I also like to use, when I don't curl my eyelashes, when I wear my glasses. I like to use the, um, oh gosh, I thought I had everything ready, guys, sorry. Um, I have a little work to go to be professional. <laughs> I like to use the lash intensity. It's like super volume, so when I, I don't curl my eyelashes, I just pump this one up. And it really does pump your lashes up. So I actually use all three mascaras that we have, all three formulas. Okay, I'm gonna shut our video off. I'm gonna finish up my, you don't have to watch me because I gotta draw and curl and that takes time. So in a minute, I'm gonna come back with my next video and I'm gonna have my just the top of my eyes finished. I'm not doing the bottom because I don't have eyeliner or mascara on the bottom because I gotta do foundation. I gotta do under eye corrector and all that. So I'll come back through and do that in just a second. Okay, see you in a minute. I'm gonna drink a little coffee until I see you again. Okay, <laughs> now I gotta make sure I turn this off correctly. Okay, stop recording. That's, our eyes are done. So hang on.